Hi folks, this is a very basic overview review of the Unity UT61E digital multimeter, 22,000 count DMM. Um, this was sent to me by Frankie at 99centhobbies.com. That's 99, that's a number 99, cent, Charlie Echo November Tango, hobbies.com. He's very, very polite, very courteous, seriously nice guy, um, very good, good communicator. Um, speaks very good English and it came in four days flat from Hong Kong which apparently is good from Hong Kong but um, Hong Kong apparently is the best place to guys buy stuff from in China because they ship the shipping is very good anyway so this meter it's a very nice solidly made um, reasonably priced digital multimeter I think I paid about 34 35 pounds of mine I'll put the price on the link in the video um, it's got a nice tilting bale at the back. It's got a nice, it's got four nice rubber feet here. One, two, three, four. To stop it sliding around when you're changing modes. On the desk. See, look. No hands. It's just not skidding around at all. So, yeah, it's decent. It's um, it says it's Cat three and Cat four rated. Um, it says here. So I believe that. Uh, in the leads are not rated, not marked at all. So I'm not sure if you trust your life to these leads. I mean, like any more than you trust your life to a, I don't know, an airplane made out of balsa wood. <laughs> so um, let's start off you've got volts and then on the yellow function you've got hertz you've got millivolts and again hertz you've got ohms and then the blue button gets you continuity which I'll test out now it doesn't seem to be a latching continuity tester so it's pretty, it seems to be pretty quick I'll let you people decide. Yeah, that's pretty quick, you know. I mean, I'm just doing that, look. I tested it earlier and it, it was slower, but I think because the probes are dirty. Had like a film of dirt on them. That's pretty good. Capacitance test. You've got Hertz proper with duty cycle when you press the yellow button. I don't know what UL stands for. You loser, um, universally lost, um, you like, um, I don't know, what does UL stand for? <laughs> Underwriters Laboratory, I've no idea what UL stands for in this context. Microamps, again, Hertz. Milliamps, Hertz. Milliamps again. Obviously, you press the green, the blue button for. Oops, no, get out of that mode. Press the blue button for AC. Amps. AC. Amps DC. Amps AC. Um, now, here's an interesting fe feature, a very useful feature, called peak hold. Sorry, there's stuff coming out everywhere here. So, set your meter down. Manually set the range, for example, I've got it on uh, 0.000, I've got a Nokia battery here, what I do is once I've set the range, <coughs> excuse me, set your range manually first, okay, and then press peak, it will now say cal, and then it will say pmax on the screen, just here, pmax. So what it's doing now, it's looking for the lowest and the highest readings it sees. So to probe this battery, that would be the highest reading it sees because the leads are just floating in, in air at the moment. When you're finished, just press peak repeatedly. So that's the lowest reading it saw, P min. And again, P max. To get out of peak mode, you hold down peak like that and let go you're back in ordinary range now uh, manual range um, 
yeah. Get my words all fluffed up because I'm tired. Um, hold button here, as usual. Hold the screen. Um, now this is interesting. At the back, you've got a little um, recess cover here, which when you slide it off, it's going to be bashing the camera with my arm. You've got an infrared transmitter here. This is an infrared LED firing out data. This one here isn't actually populated on the board. This is an infrared receiver in my hand. The right hand dot, this one here, the black dot, is an infrared transistor. Slide that on there. Slide that into there. You see it says RS232C, can you see that? Maybe you can't. Probably. Anyway, it says RS232C on the, on the uh, adapter. So you need a PC with a serial port, a COM port, or you need a USB to COM port adapter, which is about £2 on eBay, £1.50 from China very cheap and then you get the software on this CD here which we install and the actual CD is Chinese but the, the actual setup is uh, is English so you install that and then I think it's English the setup and then you can actually log you have a mirror image of your screen here in software and you can log over time now there's a mod a very interesting mod online whereby you could actually um, modify your meter to disable um, infrared when it's unplugged from the computer and enable it when it's plugged in it happens automatically and also when you unplug it from the computer auto power off is enabled which isn't on this meter from the factory which is a bit daft um, auto power off is enabled all the time when you're not using it tethered when you tether it to your PC to the data cable auto power off is disabled which is obviously what you want because you're logging data you don't want to switch off halfway through a data log do you? that'd be stupid so that's a mod you can do. I ruined my first UT61E by trying to do that when I was tired and hungry. Um, it cost me 35 quid. It doesn't matter because I bought, I sold it online for 20 quid as spares or repairs. And I very kindly, Frankie very kindly gave me this replacement for free for doing a review of his meter. So thank you very much, Frankie. You're a very, very kind gentleman. And I mean, that's an amazing service. I couldn't ask for more. Um, this is the Unity UT61E. I mean, what else can I tell you? <laughs> Apart from unplug the lead when you finish, because you'll have it dangling everywhere. Um, okay, there's one last thing, which I haven't mentioned. Download the manual in English. This is a Chinese manual, which if you're not ch a Chinese-speaking person, is much used as a chocolate fire guard or a polystyrene chair or ladder. Uh, or as much use as a charcoal climbing rope. <laughs> Quite random. Okay, this adapter here, I'm pull these leads out. This adapter here plugs in like this. I think that's the right terminals, yeah. This extends the range, the functionality of the meter. You can test HFE, resistance, capacitance, um, and other things. You can test surface mount parts on there, on these little gold contacts here. Come on camera, focus please. Anyway, you can test the components on there and you can actually put leaded through hole components in here. Um, I haven't actually used this yet, but that extends the range and function of the meter a lot. So, what else can I tell you? That is the Unity, Unitrend, UT61E digital multimeter from 99centhobbies.com. And yet again, thank you very much, Frankie, for sending me this to review. Um, the link's underneath the video. Um, I'm not going to ask you sub to subscribe and to like. That's your choice. I don't care if you subscribe or not. That's, again, your choice. I literally, genuinely, I do not care. I mean, it's up to you. I'm not going to force you to subscribe. I mean, this, this whole comment rate subscribe nonsense is not me. If you like the video, do what you want. I'd be very pleased if you do like it. If you don't like it, that's fine. Um, so... The Unity, Unitrend, UT61E, solidly built. I wouldn't say budget, it's, um, it's it's halfway between budget and professional. It's a nice meter. It, I, don't it's, I don't think it's going to survive um, underwater at 100 metres in the sea, or dropping off a three-storey building, but it's very tough. It's not creaky and plastic at all, it's really nice. So I would say go and get yourself one, 35 quid. Um, 
Maplin do the lower models in this range. They do the UT58, I think, and the 60. The Cs, I think, Maplin don't do this model, which is the better of the lot. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. There's no backlight built into this, um, which is a bit of a bummer. But you can actually modify it to, to have a backlight using two white LEDs or a white LED. I'm not going to bother because I can't imagine myself using a multimeter in the dark very often. But I may do, I don't know. But that is the Unitrend UT61E from 99 Cent Hobbies from China. Thanks very much. God bless you. Bye bye. Okay. Put those there. Now pull from the bottom. Ah, yeah. Now then. One thing I'll point out immediately is you've got these split split uh, receptacles here, which are basically folded metal, folded sheet metal and formed into cylinders with a split. Now, some people don't like those. I think they're okay. What do you expect? It's 35 quid. It's a nice meter. Um, one thing I am quite um, concerned about, is quite strange, is that the fuses, the input protection, uh, the fuses are rated at 250 volts because they're BS1362 um, British Standard rated fuses, which are 250 volts. But the meter at the front says, look, 600,000 volts. So how does that work out? I don't know. doesn't seem to match up to me. And um, build quality it's pretty nice i mean it's not the best it's not the worst it's just media i won't say mediocre it's medium it's decent for 35 pounds i mean come on it's a good meter um you've got nice quality components in there a nice little multi-term summit preset pop there you've got a nice decent buzzer which isn't flapping around in the breeze it's actually solidly staked down um I mean, I'm not an expert on the internals of multimeters, but it looks like a decent build quality. I mean, it's not crap. It's really, really nice. I mean, the input protection here, uh, it's not, doesn't look particularly beefy, but it looks okay. I mean, I'm using it for low voltage applications. I mean, if you wanted to trust your life with a meter, I wouldn't recommend trusting your life with a cheap meter. You want to go for a fluke or something, you know, with a very, very high reputation because, you know, your life's at stake. I mean, would you trust your life with a £35 uh, carabiner or, uh, you know, climbing rope if you were climbing up the Andes? Of course you wouldn't. You'd trust it with something much, much more expensive, much more secure and high quality. So I would say it's decent, very decent. But I'm not sure if I would trust it with extremely high voltages because especially the fact that it's got British standard 250 volt fuses in there, it's quite strange. But, I mean, hey, it's... A good meter for the price. It's solidly built. It's probably not probably not going to survive a submersion test in salt water or anything, or getting dropped from the top of a mountain, but um, or even from two stories. But it's a good meter. It's not rubbish. It's rubberized. It's very nice, and it came from ninety nine cent hobbies. That's number nine, number nine cent, as in uh, American cent, the coin, and then hobbies h o b b i e s dot com. I'll put a link under the video so you can contact Frankie and get your meter. Uh, this came very quickly from China. It came in four days to the UK from Hong Kong. Four days. That's amazing. I mean, that even beats Royal Mail in some circumstances. So anyway, let's get back together and do a little bit more playing around. Then we'll conclude this uh, basic review. Oh, this basically here, this bit of paper and tin foil here, this silver foil, is uh, screening. And also this spring here, you see. Let's play a little tune, shall we? Let's not. That makes contact with this foil area here on the back of the case, so that when it's shut, it screens the meter from RFI and screens, and it prevents RFI from getting out from inside it. So nice fit. Case back together again. Let's get the screws back in quickly. I would edit, edit this bit out, but I don't really edit my videos. I just upload them, so do it as quick as I can. They're a nice, positive, tight fit, these screws. I mean, I wouldn't recommend over-tightening them because the, the thread on them could actually 
bite into the plastic too much and actually mash it up. But um, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. Um, oops, the bit came out. They're not gonna um, destroy the plastic inside the um, the screw recess, like the screw, whatever this bit's called, where the screw goes into the, the channel or the recess, whatever you call it. They're not gonna destroy it. They're nice. They, 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 the screws go in nice and tight, and they stop. They don't just keep spinning and like you know, completely mess up the thread of the plastic. So you'll be okay. Let's screw it in. There we go. Keep going in. I can stand this little thing here. It just gets in the way. Anyway, there we go. That's done up. Now, if I turn the meter on, you'll see an infrared LED that's sending, sending data out all the time. If you can see that. You see it pulsing like a blue colour? The bottom one here. If I make this camera a bit darker, you'll probably see it. There you go, it's sending out infrared all the time. Which is not ideal. I mean, that's going to drain through your battery pretty quickly if you use this meter on, meters on quite a lot. Um, I said there is a mod on the internet where you can actually switch that off. You can uh, turn automatic power on when the, when the meter's in normal handheld or benchtop use and it'll actually switch automatic power off so the meter stays on for logging when you're plugged into the PC with an infrared cable. Um, you may want to do that. If you've got a very, very good magnifier and a fine soldering tip and fine solder and good hands and you're willing to risk your meter, um, that is a good idea. I tried to do it with my last Unity UT61E and I damaged the meter, so I sold it as, as damaged on um, online. I damaged my meter, um, but thankfully Frankie very kindly agreed to send me this meter in exchange for me doing a, a basic review of it. So I'm going to tell you that if you want to do that mod, take it at your own risk. I wouldn't do it again myself unless I had a better iron and a better magnifier and some solder wick because I messed up the chip completely. I was tired and I was hungry and I messed it up and I wasn't paying attention, and I mashed all the pins together and lifted up the solder pads on the board, so that mod can be done. So anyway, there's your tilting bail. It's very nice. It's got a positive shut action. It's not impossible to get up. You've got a little thumbnail recess here. Comes straight out. Doesn't rock about. Another nice thing about this meter is, put on the desk, you can turn the knob around like this and it does not skid around on the desktop because of these little rubber feet here four little rubber standoffs and that grips nicely to the top of the bench so you don't get much of a skid around at all really finally there's your software CD it's all in Chinese of course because this is a Chinese import but that's okay, the software still works in English. And you get with it a Chinese operating manual, which is obviously, which are not Chinese, it's as much use as a chocolate fire guard. And there's your warranty information there. Oh look, it was made on the 30th, it was made on the 30th of December, so that's a pretty recent build. It's actually very made very recently. Um, it's now the 29th of January 2014 so yeah this is anyway this is Chinese so what I did actually downloaded the PDF manual which is available online I printed it out there we go the whole manual there in English and there you go that's a basic review of the Unity UT61E digital multimeter from Frankie at 99 Cent Hobbies. I'd strongly recommend him. He's very courteous, very polite, um, very good at communicating and gets your product out very quickly. Sent by um, tracked Hong Kong Post Mail. And like I say, mine arrived in four days. I mean, that's just four days. Four working days, but all the same, I mean, come on, that's quick. From, from Hong Kong, that's very quick. So all thanks to Frankie and to the Hong Kong Postal System and to... Royal Mail for getting it here at their end and satisfying that. 
the Unity UT61E multimeter. Thanks very much. God bless you. Bye-bye.